Despite his young age, La Cava has a very particular and interesting career trajectory so far, having already featured for Barcelona's, Lazio's and Befica's youth sides. After a short six-month stint in Portugal, the so-called Venezuelan Messi returned to his home country, where he's found his space in first division side Academia Puerto Cabello. Worth noting, he's still contractually linked to Befica. Nate Goyard. Exploits space well, but always attempts high-risk plays that don't always reach the intended target. Nevertheless, it's a positive sign that he's willing to take initiative and kind of think outside the box. Good expulsion in pace in the first couple of meters, but lacks sprint speed to be a threat in transition. The closer he is to goal, the more effective he is, a bit similar to the Daniel Pudence in this regard. Tendency to run into trouble in low percentage areas, where the best possible outcome is winning a foul. Relies on his close control, but should channel it more productively and avoid putting his team at risk if he loses possession cleanly. Attempts a lot of these floated crosses which aren't particularly threatening and overall doesn't get much power when striking the ball. Passive participant defensively, lack of physique renders him a bit useless in physical duels and winning the ball back, positionally does well to close the inside space and force the game wide to the opposition's fullback. Good movement off the ball, dragging defenders and fixating their attention so his teammates in possession can find space to run into. Very poor decision making and not swift enough. Huge avenue on the right, potential 2v1 with loads of space, but attempt an unnecessary dribble. Physically fragile can get easily overpowered, which is an evident limitation he should work on by strengthening his lower body. Dynamic and energetic winger with a game style that is very unpredictable due to his skill and change of pace. However, despite being a very talented player on the ball, his overall game lacks depth and he's susceptible to being overpowered a bit too easily. Could do well for a good European team that plays a very possession based game, although I wouldn't expect him to succeed at the caliber of teams he's played for during his youth career.